European Commission imposed a 4.3 billion euros or around 5 billion US dollars penalty on Google last week on account of charges that Google places certain types of restrictions in Android devices to ensure that traffic goes to the Google search engine. European Union's antitrust chief said that Google has imposed basically three types of restrictions on Android device manufacturers and network operators. First, they ask device manufacturers to preload the Google search app and Chrome browser as a condition for licensing on Google's Play Store. Now there is enough evidence that the Google search app is consistently used more on Android devices whenever it is pre-installed rather than on Windows mobile devices where users have to download it first. This also shows that users do not download competing apps and gives Google an unfair advantage. Second, Google also granted significant financial incentives to some of the largest device manufacturers as well as mobile network operators on a condition that they exclusively pre-install Google search across their entire portfolio of Android devices. Now thirdly, Google had not allowed the forked versions of Android to pre-install Google's proprietary apps including Google search and Play Store. It's basically an open source system which allows independent developers to create their own versions, many of which do not get approval from Google. Now, this is not the first time that the European Union or any country has imposed such kind of penalty on an IT major. The US Department of Justice filed a case of misuse of dominant position against Microsoft in 1998 on account of the company bundling its browser, that is Internet Explorer, for free with its Windows operating system loaded on the computer devices. The European Union announced its first antitrust probe against Google in November 2010 for misuse of its dominant position in the online search market. And in June 2017, the EU fined Google 2.42 billion euros euros for prioritizing its own services on the search platform, thus giving itself an advantage over third-party service providers. Now, back here in India, the Competition Commission in February fined Google rupees 136 crores for unfair business practices in the Indian online search market. The National Company Law Appellate Tribunal stayed the ruling on Google's appeal but asked it to pay 10% of the penalty and this case is still going on. Now, the possible impact of this issue is that it won't hurt them big time financially but could bring about changes in the way the Android ecosystem functions and create a precedent for other antitrust cases against Google and other IT majors. So this was about this issue on the penalty on Google. Please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel to get regular videos on the news in focus by Next IS.